Um, I would say my coach, I told him that if I go 10-6, I wear my natural hair. So when I became the world champion, instead of championship record, I ran a 10-65. So I had to pull out the natural. In her final race of the track and field season, Shakari Richardson wore her natural hair. Wherever she goes, U.S. track star Shakari Richardson makes a statement, whether it be on her performance on the track, her clothes, or her ever-changing hairstyles. Because of this, a lot of people love her, but for the same reason, she has a lot of critics too. This year, this season, has been good to Shikari, even if she had her fair share of losses in a couple of races and competitions in various parts of the world. Simply put, Shikari's redemption arc came full circle in 2023. For one, she made history when she successfully outran her competitors, including the legendary Jamaican trio, mind you, in various competitions. Now you all know that that's not something very easy to achieve. I mean, going against Sharika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, and Elaine Thompson-Hara and outrunning them at one event or another? That's a huge feat, and I'm sure all of you are well aware of that fact. Even her critics can't help but grumble in acknowledgement. Speaking of which, said critics raised their eyebrows when Shikari was seen on camera cheering Sweden's Armand Mondo Duplantis as he worked towards claiming his second outdoor world title in the men's pole vault in Budapest. Admittedly, that was kind of an unusual sight, an athlete rooting for a rival country's athlete? But there's a story behind that, of course. So, for those not in the know, it would have seemed such a strange thing to witness. But Richardson and Duplantis are more than just world champions competing on the same stage, as they are also former teammates and friends. Indeed, the friendship between an American sprinter and a Swedish pole vaulter may seem unusual, but Richardson and Duplantis share a history that has in many ways shaped them into the athletes they are today. Both began studying at Louisiana State University in 2018, where they joined as freshmen and left as NCAA champions, with Richardson winning the The Bowerman Trophy in 2019, and Duplantis a finalist for the same prestigious award the same year. It was a formative time in both their lives that Duplantis now looks back on fondly. I think it's a little bit of a surreal situation because time is weird. He reminisced about their time at college together. In fact, he posted a throwback picture of them last year. In a tweet, DePlantis shared a photo of them in their first year in college. Everything just goes so fast because it feels like just yesterday we were teenagers. We were just kids and we were freshmen in college and we were doing just freshmen in college things. Just cutting up and being stupid, he shared. Even then, Duplantis and Richardson shared the same goals in life, though you could perhaps not have predicted a future where they would both stand on the top of a podium at the same world championships. We also both had huge dreams and we knew that we could be in the situation that we are today, but everything happened in the way that it has and we actually are doing what we always hoped, manifesting what we could do. Duplantis continued, it's a lot different because sports is tough and not everything works out the way you think it's going to work out. So for us to be here and both win the world championships in the same year, feeling like it was just yesterday we were both in college together, it's pretty nice. For her part, Shikari treasures her friendship with Duplantis as much as he does. So when she saw her friend at this year's world championships, she was elated. Oh yes, I saw my Mondo exclaimed Richardson in an interview with NBC by the side of the track in Budapest. He's one of my favorite people in life. And so, even if world pole vault record holder Mondo Duplantis was planning to race five-time world 100-meter champion Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, he expressed his intent to race reigning champion Shakari Richardson. Duplantis and Fraser Price were supposed to race before the season ends, but the Jamaican has been out for the better part of the season due to an injury setback. For context, a year ago, Olympic great Shelly Ann Fraser Price made headlines with her tongue in cheek challenge to Duplantis that they should race the 100 meter against each other. I would beat you, was Duplantis's comical retort, to which the Jamaican responded, Okay, survey says that's a lie. However, as mentioned, the showdown never materialized. When asked, The 100 with you and Shellyanne never happened. You versus Shakari would be another good one. That is a good one. That is a good one. But we don't have that much beef. We're actually quite good friends. <laughs> 
but he is open to the idea. Yeah, that, that could be actually pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I, I really I hadn't even thought about that, but that makes that almost makes even more sense to, to race against Shikari. But um, yeah, we'll see. Okay. The duo has also had a great season thus far, especially for Duplantis, who has been unbeaten so far, and he has just set a new world record at the Prefontaine Classic on Sunday night. On her part, the American has been in impeccable form, losing only two races to end her season on a high note. When the two take it to the track, it is almost evident who will win the race, but it will definitely promise to be a thrilling show. While Richardson would be the odds-on winner just like Duplantis would be if the competition involved pole vaulting, it's hard to imagine a face-off between the two being anything but a joyful occasion as both seem to have nothing but the utmost respect for each other. As Richardson noted when asked about her support for Mondo at the recent Worlds, he's on a whole different level, okay? But, as we have witnessed this season, Shikari herself is also on a different level, so to speak. The sprinter has finished under 11 seconds throughout the 2023 season. In August, she clocked in at 10.65 during the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, Hungary. The 5'1 runner earned the title of the world's fastest woman at the big competition. Before earning her first national title at the U.S. Track and Field Championships in Eugene, Oregon, Richardson won the 100-meter race with a fast score of 10.71 seconds. Further, she ran the fourth fastest time in history early this year at the women's 100-meter race, clocking in at 10.57 during the Miramar Invitational in April. But judges ruled out the speedy score due to gusting winds in the area. Richardson didn't let the minor setback keep her down. In May, she achieved another fast score of 10.76 at the Doha Diamond League, which is now the third fastest time in the world this season, according to the Olympics. And in her final race of the track and field season, Shikari Richardson flaunted her natural hair as she competed in the 2023 Diamond League final in Eugene, Oregon a few days ago. After she finished the women's 100-meter competition in fourth place at 10.80 seconds, the 23-year-old Texas native spoke to NBC Olympics and Paralympics about why she chose to rock her curly coils loud and proud. I will say, my coach, I told him that if I go 10.06, I'll wear my natural hair. So when I became the world champion and set a championship record, I ran a 10.65. So I had to pull out the natural. The track and field star said as she shook her curly afro from side to side. On that note, with the track and field season coming to an end, there are a lot of lessons Shikari Richardson has learned and she will be looking to bounce back better next season. Richardson has big plans concerning the 200 meter and in particular, she has plans to beat Jamaica's Sharika Jackson who has mastered the art of the half lap race. I want to be competitive. I want to be that athlete who wins the 100 meter and 200 meter and I want all of you to see that. I'm excited for next year, Richardson said. Do you know who else is competitive? Jakob Ingebrigtsen, that's who. Watch this to see for yourself.